All right, let's get some reaction on the president's adjusted level four announcement with nursing unions. Do not Mr. Spongiseni, Dali Chazo, Mr. Dali Chazo, thank you for your time and good morning to you. Now, I suppose my first question is, as you react to the president's, uh, you know, announcements yesterday, do you think these measures that they have introduced as government are, you know, efficient enough, if they will be effective enough to at least alleviate some of that pressure, you know, from the nurses? Well, good morning, uh, Tumelo, and good morning to the viewers at home. Well, we're hopeful. Um, what has been uh, clear, though, is that all the non-pharmaceutical interventions and measures which were put in place and the policing thereof have proven not to be effective. And obviously, stricter restrictions, it would appear, would be the, about the only solution to the, to the problem at hand. We do hope, however, that there will be positive um, you know, outcomes of this intervention as tight as it is. We know how economically it is uh, straining many households. But in a case like we are in, in the country, where non-pharmaceutical interventions have not worked, we believe that this was the only way to go. Of course, we would have hoped that the vaccination program in the country had been ramped, would have been ramped up to at least improve the immunity of the community. But that the slow pace thereof has been very disappointing, and that leaves us with one option, and that is to keep on adjusting the alert levels in the country, which is very unfortunate to the South Africans. I mean, yesterday, when the president made that announcement, there was still a bit of skepticism uh, from those who say that, listen, this is just pro probably uh, propaganda. This is, uh, you know, scaring tactics coming in from government. Um, does really COVID-19 exist? And is this Delta variant really as rampant as the president explained yesterday, including alongside other medical experts? You are in this sector. You are part of, you know, uh, nurses in South Africa. Paint us that picture of what nurses go through right now, not only in Gauteng, but around the country in as far as COVID-19 is concerned, but also in trying to contain this Delta variant? Well, the workload is increasing, and you have seen the figures in Kauteng. The healthcare workers in Kauteng are taking a great strain at the moment. And of course, you know Kauteng is the economic hub of the country. What happens is Kauteng is likely to spiral out into other provinces. Now, healthcare workers, we were always saying this even previously to Melo, that it was by miracle that healthcare workers stood the ground and, and shielded the nation from the jaws of the second wave. We do not think that they will be able to do that with, uh, out of energy as they are in, and we think that a lot of assistance is what they need, which is not forthcoming at the moment. What is happening, even GPs, GPs are strained as well. GPs are experiencing higher number of patients. When they refer such patients to various facilities, in Gauteng in particular, you'd find that there are no beds available, of course, in facilities where they've been referred to by the GP. And it would take time for them to get beds for her perhaps in other, in, other, in other facilities. Now, the referral system needs also to be improved in the province. And at the moment, we think healthcare workers are very anxious. Look at the number of those who have died. We talk of 59,900. And you need not look further than that to see the extent of the impact of this COVID on the healthcare workers because each patient that they lose, it takes its toll on them. They are not looking forward to go to work the following day. There's poor employee wellness programs at work to assist them to cope and be able to look forward to go to work the following day. With that being said, I mean, um, it's quite worrisome that the infrastructure and resources have still not been made available to nurses so that they can conduct, you know, their work effectively, not just nurses, but also, you know, healthcare workers, this including doctors. But with that being said, the president um, making mention that the alcohol ban is also meant to, you know, try and alleviate that pressure, saying that there won't be cases that nurses and doctors will have to deal with in as far as, you know, alcohol cases are concerned. Um, this is only for the next 14 days, we understand. Is this enough um, in terms of the, 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 the timelines with which the president has set out that the ban is only for 14 days? Do you think it should be extended for longer, especially because some, you know, experts and critics saying uh, perhaps we needed to move to level, uh, lockdown level five uh, to ensure that there's more stringent uh, regulations there? Well, I think only time will tell whether that becomes effective within this two-week period. We hope that it does become effective. What we know for a fact is that alcohol usage, alcohol consumption in communities does contribute massively to the strain in our healthcare system. Every weekend, go to any healthcare facility, be it community health center, 
any clinic on the weekend, you would see the extent to which this is having on the system. So we believe that at this stage where we're faced with a crisis, where also we don't even have field hospitals, we cannot afford to have alcohol competing with the pandemic, where the elderly, if they are to be admitted and there are, are no beds, they are likely to die. We think it is a good move, and from where we are, we know it, alcohol contributes um, to the strain in the healthcare system because more patients are admitted into our trauma and even in our ICU, which are the, that we need to care for the, for the, for the COVID-19 patients. Labor, thank you so much for talking to us. Dinosa spokesperson Zbongiseni Delichaz are joining us. They just, of course, reiterating the pressure that nurses go through, but also their reaction to the president's announcement just yesterday.